This is completely turnkey, but it's being sold um, with no tenants, which I love, right? What you'll notice if you're in this game long enough that the number one most risky tenant is inherited tenants. Tenants that are inherited, folks, are actually the most risky tenants, right? Because they're like a blank. They're an unknown, right? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to be giving it to you straight. Man, I'm feeling this one today. This one, folks. This one's nice, okay? Uh, 1231 West 5th Lorraine Triplex, dude, coming to you at 179.9. And it's actually being sold uh, in my absolute like favorite way to do a property. Th this is like literally my absolute favorite way to sell a property, okay? Because it's, I think it's just best for everyone, right? Like you could sell. A totally jacked up property, vacant, needs a ton of repair, sell it as a bird deal. That's like one way to do it, right? The other extreme is completely turnkey, right? Uh, it's totally renovated. It's got tenants in there, et cetera, et cetera. You're selling it that way, right? And then in the middle, you got what this is, totally turnkey, ready to rock and roll. Like, yeah, sure, as you continue watching the footage and stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to show you the complete raw tour of my team being in the property. Uh, so you can see literally every nook and cranny. And I'm sure that, you know, you'll notice there's going to be some uh, punchless items, but for all intents and purposes, this is completely turnkey, but it's being sold um, with no tenants, which I love, right? A lot of people are like, oh no, what if I can't get tenants? That's 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 like a that's like what a rookie would be afraid of, right? Me having been in the game for so long, having done so many deals, countless buyers, countless sellers, this or that, countless tenants, right? I love it this way because guys, when you're me, you're Holton Wise, you know, I'm bringing you guys properties that are, uh, you know, I'm taking sellers that own these properties and I'm presenting them to you guys, right? So you you know you're dealing with Holton Wise, one entity here, right? But the amount of sellers, right, that we represent, it's vast. It's, you know, countless, right? So every one of these sellers, folks, they do not have the same tenant screening standards that Holton Wise has when we do the management for you, and it might not meet something that you're satisfied with, right? So when you get the opportunity to buy something that doesn't have tenants, and it's already turnkey. That's the best of both worlds because you get the turnkey product. You don't have to spend all that money and time on that renovation, but you get to go in and either through hiring Holton Wise, have us professionally screen and place your tenants or doing it yourself and going by your personal criteria, right? It works out the best for everyone. What you'll notice if you're in this game long enough that the number one, most risky tenant is inherited tenants. Tenants that are inherited, folks, are actually the most risky tenants, right? Because they're like a blank. They're an unknown, right? And, you know, a lot of people are like, well, you got to do your due diligence. What due diligence is that, Kyle? What are you going to do? You going to ask the seller, hey, Mr. Seller, uh, is your tenant a good tenant? And Mr. Seller... If he says yes, you're going to give him like 180K. If he says no, you're going to give him nothing. What do you think he's going to say? Is he going to be like, no, man, they're terrible. As a matter of fact, the only reason I'm selling it is because of how much I hate those tenants and how they've ruined my life. Please give me 180K. Does that make any sense? No, right? So this is really like my favorite way to do it, right? It seems like everybody just ends up happy at the end of the day. And how are you not going to be happy with these types of numbers, dude? Twenty-six fifty a month in rent. Neighborhood quality is nice. You can go Section 8. You can go cash. It's one of those areas where you can get properties cheap enough uh, to have beautiful numbers like this, but it's still like stable enough that we have a lot of good uh, cash-paying tenants in these areas, right? I love it quite a bit. If I'm in Northeast Ohio, a lot of people like associate Lorraine with Cleveland because like Cleveland's the bigger city in that general market. Lorraine is a better, more investor-friendly place, though. It really is, right? You don't have all the lead paint requirements. You don't have Justin Bibb running around being a big dong. It's freaking 
my, I like I like Lorraine much better than Cleveland, and y'all know I've I'm as ingrained in the Cleveland investor space as humanly possible, right? So if I have two triplexes, all things being equal, the only difference being one's in Lorraine, one's in Cleveland, I'm going to go with the one in Lorraine every time, right? So this is a banger of a deal. Uh, again, price at 179.9. Probably going to have multiple offers. I don't got to fluff y'all. I don't, I don't got to stroke your egos here. Like, that's the deal. That's what's up. We're going to have a lot of people that are going to want this. The numbers speak for themselves. Uh, so if you want to jump in, you want to make your bid, email me, sales at holtonwise.com. Me or my team, we will take care of you. Let us know what you want to do. Just, you know, give me the address. Give me the price you want to pay. If you want to pay cash, send me your proof of funds. If you want to finance it and you got a lender, cool. Give me your pre-approval. If you want to finance it, but you want me to give you a letter, not a problem. Just let me know. We'll give you a lender. And uh, since it is vacant and there's no tenants to, to be bothered, if you would like to actually tour the property physically yourself uh, before putting in the offer, that's totally fine too. Just just let us know. You hit us up before 5 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will get you in there same day. Again, stay tuned because after this, I'm going to show you guys the full tour that my team did, right? It's like basically a video inspection for you guys. So you'll see all the little nooks in crannies and, and just get a first look at this property yourself. Totally transparent. Let's go. Here we are at uh, one, two, three, one. One, this is one, two, three, one, what? West Fifth? West Fifth. West Fifth. Out here in low rain. Nice backyard. Not too bad. Oh, it's just a fire escape. Okie doke. Think the lockbox is on the front door? Yeah, I think it. A lot of trash in there. Somebody spilled some blue paint too. Bad looking property. Oop. This 
Every unit the key the same? They are. Oh, there's three keys and they're all the same key. They might just be open. Nice. They are in beautiful unit one. Yeah, it looks like some work has been done here. Golly, I hope this isn't a bedroom. What was that? Did Derek say God damn it? Uh, he said common area. I think this is two down here. So no, I don't think this can be better than that. What? Well, each unit has its own fucking lockbox. They all the same code, so it's close to the back of the fucking work. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Ugh. Yikes. Creepy ass basement. Anybody down here with me? Nope. Wow, okay, so everything is on one. There's only one furnace. Unless they're in the units, maybe. Oh, unit two is not working. So, careful those not boxes. These are the keys that are in the 
the thing and neither of them work. <clears throat> so, watch the last one. Okay. I'm going to take these black boxes and I'm going to put these all on one thing and label them. Okay. It's different. Weird. Oh, look at that. Nice and cool down here. could be. Yeah, I bet it's sewage. Alright. That concludes. So then that concludes that one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.